So you're out there thinking, I want to own a franchise business, but ooh, business ownership is scary. People fail. And you start Googling, how do you fail in a franchise business in an effort to try to understand success in a franchise business? I love the idea, but I'm here to be a little bit of a myth buster with you today to tell you that you can't understand success because you understand failure. So I was an average performing franchisee for eight years. And then one year later, back in 2011, I made history in my franchise business. But it wasn't until I made history and was a top performing consultant repeatedly that then I was able to look back to my first eight years when I wasn't a top performer and really connect the dots to understand what I wasn't doing. So when candidates reach out to me and they say, well, I want to talk to the people that are struggling in the franchise, I'm always like, why? What do you think that the people who are struggling are going to tell you that's going to help inspire your dream, number one, but more importantly, teach you about success? Because if they knew something more, wouldn't they be doing it? <laughs> Saying all of this, I know that you're out there Googling how not to fail in a franchise. So I thought I'm going to meet you right where you're at. And I'm going to offer you six ways to epically fail in your franchise business. Now, if you're new to my channel, my name is Kim Daly. I'm a franchise consultant, and I'm so happy that you're here. We're going to have a little bit of fun. I love to have fun. This is a little bit tongue in cheek, but it's a very important conversation nonetheless. So if you don't know who I am, I'm a franchise consultant, and I have been helping people just like you, say yes to the dream to own a franchise business for over two decades. So my role as a franchise consultant is to match opportunities to you, to your background, interests, skills, finances, and life goals. So if you get inspired and you want to work with Kim Daly, I'm going to tell you how you could be my next candidate at the end of the video. All right, so let's talk about six ways to epically fail in your franchise business. So the first thing that you could do if you want failure is you could invest in a franchise that you absolutely can't afford. <laughs> I want you to bet the farm. I want you to put everything you have into the startup of this business with absolutely no cushion behind you. Now, do I really want you to do that? No, because I want you to be successful, but you're trying to figure out why people fail in a franchise. So. Why do people fail? Because they invest in a franchise they cannot afford. Now, when I say afford, I mean, you've got to be able to have money to put into the startup and cushion. And in some cases, even working capital or living capital to live off of. But again, we're talking about failure. So you want to fail? Put everything you have into the startup, buy a business you cannot afford. That is the absolute number one, fastest, surest way to fail in a franchise. All right, the second thing that you can do to epically fail in your franchise is to buy a system and then not follow it. So people say this to me all the time when I say that one of the number one indicators of your success in a franchise is to do what the franchisor says to do. And then candidates say, well, what do you mean? So people pay a franchise fee and then don't follow the franchisor's lead? That's exactly what I'm saying. So if you're trying to figure out how to fail in a franchise, absolutely, this is what I want you to do. Pay the franchise fee and then go make it up. Go reinvent the wheel, go do it your way instead of asking for support, asking for help, asking why the franchisor does it this way. Just believe your own way is better and go out there and have at it. Okay, you wanna know another way to epically fail in your franchise, this is a doozy right here. I want you to take your negative attitude, all your griping and complaining, and I want you to go find other franchisees in the same system. And I want you guys to form a group, a group that meets every single week to share how things are so bad and why you are owed something that you're not getting and why the territory isn't working or the economy is sucking the life out of your business. Yeah, that's what I want you to do. Because coming together with other people who are also struggling, who can't help you help yourself, that is an awesome way to fail in your franchise business. Ooh, and the fourth way to 
epically fail in your franchise business is to wait for somebody else to build your business for you. <laughs> okay, so this is what I actually call the silent killer in franchising. Nobody's talking about it, but so many franchisees are actually thinking it. And this is kind of a real one, sadly. Franchisees somehow believe that you, Mr. Franchisor, are going to make me successful. And so they sit back and they wait. They're waiting for somebody else to tell them what to do. They're waiting for somebody else to bring them an idea. They're waiting for somebody else to find their customers for them. So if you want to fail in your franchise business, do what all those people are doing because that is an epic way to fail. Now, this way of failure may be slow. It may not happen really quick, like investing in a business that you can't afford will. That is not only a sure way to fail, but that's a fast way to fail. But waiting on somebody else to do for you what only you can do for yourself, this will be a slow death. So if you want to die a slow, painful death in your franchise, yes, do this one. The fifth way to fail in your franchise business is to sign that franchise agreement with all your hopes and dreams right there. And then day one of owning a business, throw all your hopes and dreams out the door. So a business owner without goals and dreams is like a ship without a port. You are out at sea, but you are completely lost. So if you want to epically fail in your franchise business, this is an awesome way to do it, to just sign that franchise agreement and then have no goals and dreams of your own. So every day you come to work, you're just pushing paper around, you act a little busy, you, you know, do a few things, but never really have any knowledge of where you are in relation to where you want to be, because why would you want to do that if you don't want to be successful, right? And never even have a goal of where you want your business to go. This would be an awesome way to epically fail in your franchise business. And the last way to epically fail in your franchise business is to never invest in any personal development. Believe that that franchise business that you pay for is going to provide everything that you need to go live the life of your dreams. So I don't want you to ever open a book on leadership. I don't want you to ever pay for a sales training class. I don't want you to ever listen to a podcast that could help you become a better person and a better business owner. Because if you do that, you might actually become successful. So if you want to epically fail in your franchise business, zero, zero dollars spent on personal development. So let's recap what I just said. If you are looking to fail in your franchise business, I want you to invest in a business you can't afford. I want you to buy a franchise system and then pay no mind to it. Go do what you want to do. I want you to form a group with other people who are struggling and unhappy and then every single week gripe and complain and commiserate with those people. I want you to believe that once you open the doors, people are magically just going to come in. You never have to do anything. You are going to wait on everything outside of you to make you successful. Your franchisor, your marketing plan, your general manager, you're not going to do anything to be successful. I want you to lose sight of all of your big, bold goals and dreams. I just want you to pay for that franchise system and believe that that's all that you need. Let go of your goals and dreams. Don't show up to live intentionally. Just putter around your business every day. Don't do anything intentional. And the last thing I want you to do is to never spend any time or money on your own personal growth. So I promise you, if you're willing to commit to these six things, you have found the answer to failure in a franchise. Now, all of this is, of course, very tongue in cheek and sarcastic because I don't want you to fail. I want you to do the opposite of all six of these things because that's what you're actually trying to do. So if you're trying to figure out how to be successful in a franchise, Stop thinking about failure. I want you to reach out to Kim Daly. Let me teach you what top performance in a business looks like, feels like, sounds like, because I am living proof of it. I want to be your franchise consultant. I want you to follow the link in the description below that will take you to my contact form because today's your day. You found this video. If you're inspired to work with me, 
I want to be your franchise consultant and your daily coach. Thank you so much for having a little bit of fun with me today. I hope you laughed a little bit, learned a little bit, and won't do anything that I said to do in this video. God bless you. I'll see you in the next one.